All right, so I'd like to welcome you guys. I'm going to try to do a uh, video, basically, of uh, what I do whenever I first join um, a server and start a new character. And I think it might be something that might be beneficial towards maybe some of the newer players uh, that haven't played Terra before, maybe get them more acquainted with some of the options and uh, some of the things that you can do, um, such as the inter user interface settings and additionally uh, your shortcut button. So what you kind of see here in front of you is you see uh, just um, the, the main part of kind of what everything looks like. Um, you've got uh, over here on the left side, you've got your chat window. Down toward the middle, you've got all of your options. You've got uh, your bar, basically your action bar. Then you've got your map, your compass, kind of the information of what, what channel you're in and uh, where you're at as far as inside the game. And then, of course, your health and your mana bar and your stamina there. So um, one of the things that you'll want to do is basically if you hit your O button, uh, the O button is actually what, what allows you to uh, bring up your options. And there's a lot of different things here that we can do. So uh, basically in this, this setup here, what I want to do is kind of go through the shortcut settings to kind of talk about the different types of things you can do. And then also maybe give you guys some hints and tips about how to set this up. Um, I mostly play just keyboard and mouse, so there's some things that I do to kind of change some of these uh, settings and make my life a little bit easier um, while I'm playing the game. And I use this mostly for the entire thing. So, and you'll see here we've got a guy there running around. So, um, so let's go ahead. We've got the movement options here. Um, and so we got move forward, move back, move left, move right, auto jump, and uh, auto run and jump. So I mean, all that's pretty self-explanatory. You've got your uh, your shortcuts to your upper trays, which are the F options here. Then you've got your lower trays, which is your options on the lower side here. So we'll just go scroll through some of this, and then you've got your mains one, two, and three. Of course, you see those are defaulted there. Um, extended uppers, uh, you can get more additional uh, settings there if you wanted to try to click on those. Um, and then, of course, you've got your UI settings, which you've got your toggled users, uh, which basically the Alt button, what that does is, is that allows you to go into kind of like your option menu mode. But if you have the Alt, then your mouse takes over the camera angle a little bit. All right, so let's go back to our options. And let's go back to shortcuts and check out some of this other stuff here. So we've got your whisper reply, your interact. It's kind of showing you some of the different things here. If you haven't played Terra before, this is really for, for new folks. Uh, tray one, go through all your different trays, which are your options right here. We can go through 10 different trays, Just click all the way through those. And then of course, you've got your marking of targets, which is your Q button, E, quick chat, um, change your outfits, one through five, accept bids, drop bids, take a seat, just hit insert. Uh, UI options there. You got your your UI menu options, inventory profile. So I mean, you could just go through this, and I think most of this is pretty self-explanatory. Some of these don't have uh, binding keys to them. You could bind those, as you see. Um, and ones you'll use mostly maybe is these uh, marks one through three, uh, whichever works best for you when you're calling out different things. And then you have some camera positioning and views on your num logs there. So what I'm going to do real quick is I want to go through and just make this one segment to kind of go over what I change on my side. You may like this, you may not. I don't know. Um, that's really it's a personal preference of mine. I have keyboard and mouse, so therefore what I say is I I like to have more functionality on my mouse here. So what I actually do is I change this to E, just move it one over, change my back over to D, change my left to S movement right to uh, the F button and then um, what I do is, is I take out the rule state around those four keys so I actually make upper 1 W make upper 2 Q make upper 3 A make upper R upper 5 nope oh, don't do that make that T and make sure when you do this you click in here you type in the letter and you hit enter and then I don't really mess with any of the other ones there. So let me scroll down a little bit. There's one, there's a couple things here we're going to change as we get further for what I, I prefer so far. Um, I'm going to go down to our whisper reply. Um, you could change this to whatever you want. I like control R. Interaction I change to G, which then of course forces the guild to be changed as well. So I go down to guild options and uh, change that to control G. And hit enter. Now make sure you hit apply and then hit OK. So now I'm using all of my, my different features here as I run around with my character 
And uh, so this is going to be just really the first video, just kind of some of the shortcuts on on the, the UI settings. I'm going to create a second video to go over, um, kind of to come right back to back on this, uh, which I'm going to do a part two and talk about the actual user interface and how you can just how flexible the user interface is. And hopefully this has been helpful to you. So if you've got any comments or questions, um, as always, let me know on the YouTube channel or you can find me at the Lancer Guide online um, under classes um, or send me a message. Thanks.